the thing I do is already out there. I'm not a bad person. If I, if I did anything wrong, I would be in trouble, but I'm not. Because You're the clown. You didn't have to say anything that came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, just get stuff up. Keep your hands shit. down. Go to your room, dog. Beta said, hey. Yo, you're a f Make it seem like what it's not because they just can't believe what I've accomplished and they just want to say everything that's not true. 17 year old girls, the night before their birthday, you got you buy a $10,000 yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract 50% of their life every single time. That's literally pimping. This is so much worse than I was anticipating. Subscribe! Jack Doherty is one of the most hated YouTubers on the entire platform and for good reason. He's yeah. unlikable, annoying, and has an extremely punchable face. But well, how do I say this? I know that a lot of people don't like it when you go after somebody's looks. I know that it's like, it's something that people don't like. I generally also don't go after people's looks, okay? Because it's low hanging fruit, but like, Sorry, one second. I'm procuring, I'm, pro I'm procuring something. Give me a moment. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm wrong. If, if you think I'm incorrect, I'll take it. I'm not sure that you can tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> oh God, dude, I'm not wrong. He looks like a cabbage patch kid. You would think that after receiving every warning imaginable and turning the entire internet against him, that Jack would reconsider Dude, the path the edit of being of him? imaginable Wait. and turning the entire internet. This edit is so funny. Oh my god. This edit of the hair is so funny. Against him, that Jack would reconsider the path of being a public nuisance for views and clout. Is no. this your house? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? We're uh, not here to play games. Flip a coin. What do you want to do? Heads, we send him to jail, Ted. No! Hey, he's not going to- Unfortunately, it would only be a matter of time before- Is he drunk or high or both? What was that? He looks 15 still? Yes! Okay, but like, all right. It's like a lot of views and clout. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe he will do anything for views and clout, but it's like a lot. Before Jack's bold antics caught up with him and threatened to end his entire career. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be diving into the rapidly deteriorating career of Jack Doherty. Around God, every picture is just worse. You guys remember cloud bread? You remember that trend? It's it's giving sort of cloud bread energy. Like it 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 looks like if you cut him open, it would be approximately this texture i don't know how else to explain my feelings on this on seven months it's ago. giving no it's giving it's it's made out of cake do you remember this this is still a trend right right the 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 trend of like is it cake is it real or is it cake it looks like if you cut into him it is cake he looks like he's made out of fondant that's what it is i've been trying to figure out exactly what it is he looks like he's made out of cake fondant oh, i uploaded a video discussing jack's rise to notoriety and later infamy on youtube in a nutshell jack is a creator and streamer who made a name for himself by capitalizing on viral trends and light-hearted trolling content yo what is up guys jack tardy here back with another video um today i'm gonna be he's going so trick-or-treating the day after halloween uh yeah i got my gopro on my head I'm just gonna tell people um, I'm a doctor or something for Halloween. However, as his online career progressed, Jack would escalate his content. From I understand that that on its own is very kind of sweet and silly and, and harmless, but isn't it so interesting? Like he literally started, he started with the content being a bit of a nuisance. Like nuisance content was always his like, that's where he was going. That's where, that's where he was gonna end up always. From a few harmless pranks to extremely disorderly conduct. Yeah. With stunts like him harassing Ninja on stream, getting kicked out of public spaces and shutting off the power at Walmart, Jack wanted to cause as much Where's mayhem as possible for the sake of viewership and clout. Guys, you better shut off the lights on Walmart. Panel one, panel eight. Bro, just go. 14, 16. Where the f is this kid's parents? Where are your parents? Where are your parental figures? What the f is this? That's insane that he's in the back of the Walmart with switches. Okay, maybe you get away with doing this. Where were your parents after you posted it? 18. Go ahead. That means aisle 14, aisle 16. Right, do it, do it, do it. Yo, wait. <laughs> Eventually, Jack's thirst for attention pushed him to go beyond public misconduct, and he began harassing random people on the street during live streams. What? Well, Pop, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Jack's streams would only get more degenerate and outrageous, as he frequently hosted or attended parties that featured controversial figures, like Neon, The Island Boys, and Fousey Tube. We 
I'm gonna be real. He looks so out of place here. He is in a room of people who do unhinged regularly, like Fousey's here. And we got this little cloud face ass, fondant ass boy looking like he, he belongs. He, go back to the suburbs. Go back to your quiet, quiet suburbs. You're not, you, you're not built to be here. This is crazy. You did that to make him feel big. Y'all are gonna stare here and not clap for him. Y'all are all beta as f yes. hey, I think this guy's f***ing beta as f God damn it. He has, dude, what the f*** are you talking about? Who's beta? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Beta said, hey. Yo, you're a f You're a little f while controversy and outrage were the cornerstones of Jack's online persona, it didn't always work in his favor. On the yeah, that's how a beta reacts to getting water thrown on them, by the way. In this kind of situation, in general, I don't condone fighting. However, first of all, throwing water on somebody, beta. It's not giving alpha. Uh, not that I really like, I'm not like a huge like beta alpha thing, like enjoyer, but like it's a bit of a woman moment to throw your drink on someone. But I will just be clear, that is exactly how a beta reacts to having their drink, a drink thrown at them. What are you, what are you gonna slap each other next? The open hand, smack each other on the back in the face? You gonna pull each other's hair? The 7th of January, 2024, Jack received a 24 hour ban on kick after he asked a girl to expose herself on stream. Even well. though Jack was comfortable making a fool of himself for attention, he wouldn't allow anyone else that luxury. By the 11th of January, 2024, Jack would falsely copyright claim videos from YouTubers Mimulus and I'm Alex. With what? a tweet reading, hey team YouTube, Jack Doherty is abusing YouTube's copyright system by claiming videos that are clearly not infringing on his rights to farm revenue. With a British loser replying he claimed mine as well thankfully team with a british loser reply <laughs> i i'm feeling in the air like sort of the vibes are giving internet art anarchist is not a fan of this individual a, a british loser is crazy youtube would resolve the issue up until this point jack had hardly faced any repercussions for his deplorable attitude however all that was about to change as do you not know the i i'm alex drama you have to understand that like I'm a VTuber and I keep up with VTuber drama. I don't really keep up with like mainstream tick, like Twitch and kick stuff. That's something that I've more recently been interested in. But in general, like a lot of the like old past, I don't really know about like a lot of YouTube drama, like 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 mainstream YouTuber drama. I'm not super familiar with either. And so sometimes I'll post videos and people will be like, don't you know that this person blah, 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 blah. And, I'm, and I'm like, I'm gonna be real. I know I didn't. I most certainly did not. So whatever that is, I'm, I don't know who that is. I'm just saying it's very clear that this channel does not like that individual. And for whatever reason, I'm sure it's very valid. Jack received the most shocking reality check of his entire career. On the 21st of February, 2024, a personal injury lawsuit would be filed against Jack and his bodyguard, Justin Gosley. Not the document surprised. would allege the following. On October 28, 2023, plaintiff was attending a Halloween party at approximately 12.30 a.m. on the morning of October 29th, 2023. Plaintiff right. was on the street outside the subject's premises and was told Talking to Doherty and Gosley. At one point in the conversation, Gosley asked Doherty, what are we doing? And Doherty said, we're gonna fight. Us two versus you two. All right, go. And gestured that he and Gosley were going to fight plaintiff and plaintiff's friend. What? Moments later, Gosley violently punched plaintiffs in the face, sending him falling to the ground and causing serious physical injuries to his head, face, and neck. For a bit of additional context, the incident reference was from this viral clip that Jack posted on his Twitter. Yo, yo, no. So I just want to clarify here. I was going to say respectfully because that's like a bit of a, of a verbal tick of mine. But disrespectfully, I want to be clear that this is a disrespectful observation. It was the bodyguard that punched the person in the face. It was a sucker punch, by the way. Always very respectable behavior. That's a cool guy. That's how I feel about that. That's sarcasm, by the way, if somebody didn't pick up on that. Sorry. You're all sick. Who are you yeah. talking to, dog? I'm just saying y'all say Yo, you're just walk. Stop. Don't walk. Don't walk. Oh. Who the oh. fuck you talking to? Oh. After outlining the events that inspired the lawsuit, the document highlighted how Jack continued to profit off. What's the difference between a regular punch and a sucker punch? Um, a sucker punch is at random. You don't know that they're going to punch you. It's like a, a, it, it's, it's, it's a surprise attack. A regular punch is like you understand like you are getting into a fight, right? Like you're both aware of the fact that we're going to fight with our fists. A sucker punch is like a just standing still kind of like like that where he, they're kind of standing still and it goes from like zero to punched in the face in two seconds. It's dishonorable. Dishonorable fighting conduct. Again, 
I'm not a fighter. I don't be fighting and I don't really like fighting, but like we have to also understand what, what re when real is real. And that was the incident and his involvement in similar confrontations. Reading, Doherty has and continues to generate income due to the many views the video has received or to plaintiff's detriment. Right. Doherty has a history both before and after the subject incident of filming himself harassing, assaulting and antagonizing members of the public by having his security guard step in to intimidate and assault them if they react to Doherty's harassment. The following links show various other altercations caused by Doherty. Why? Because you're a clown and this is a resort. People are trying to chill and relax. You know my dad owns this place, right? Yo, yes. if you stop talking to me, you were the one that came up to me first. No, you're the clown. You didn't have to say anything. That came in. I don't want to be filmed. Okay, well, just you can stop talking keep your head down. Go to your room, dog. Well, this was the first time Jack had faced this. Why is this bodyguard so aggro against this old gentleman? Dude is like respectfully like, hey, man, I don't want to be filmed. I'm at a resort. We're on vacation. Everybody here is at, at a resort on vacation. Why are you doing all this? And this dude is like grabbing the f out of this man's arm. It's so like, that's not what a bodyguard is for. A bodyguard is to guard the body of the person who hired them, right? Like it makes a lot of sense how, um, but like when speed, it goes all over the world and people follow him and try to like catch him while he's in their place, right? He has bodyguards because people try to touch his hair, grab at his skin, like grab at his clothes. Like they, they try to hurt him. And so, like, yes, there is a certain amount of physicality in, in, involved in being a bodyguard. But that, that old man was putting his hand up because he didn't want to be filmed. He was trying to put his hand in front of the camera to not be filmed. So, like, what was the need to grab him like that? It's so insane. It's kind of legal trouble. The same couldn't be said for his bodyguard, who had a, quote, history of assault and battery. Oh. Given the severity of the incident, the lawsuit would seek relief for damages and reimbursement for legal costs. Even though the case is still in court, the outcome of this lawsuit could encourage other victims of Jack's antics to come out with their own cases. Remember, Jack had spent the better part of last year terrorizing dozens of people for his streams and yeah. any of them could decide to take things to court unfortunately like he's just filming kids too you know like just going and bothering a father with his i mean assumedly this is a, a man with his two children just bothering some guy with his two little kids like it's so like what the f is wrong with you Legal battles were This the is so much worse than I was anticipating. Only thing Jack had to worry about. Around this time, a creator named Lenny Miller published a video titled I Fought Jack Doherty, in which he confronted Jack over trash talking him online. You got hella trash to talk on stream, let's go. Let's go. What? Let's go. You had hella talk trash to talk on stream. Now let's go. You trash. You talk trash on stream last night. Let's go. I don't care. And you think it. You think it's funny? You won't say it to my face. Ever since the beta comment, all I want to do is point out how beta this shit is. Look at his like. He's like closing up. He's got no aura. He's got no intimidation behind him. Look at look, the posture. The posture is pitiful. He's got a man who's actually willing to fight, and now he's he's curling up. His shoulders are going in. He's scaled. Jack used withdraw is crazy. He's hitting that. He's spamming that runaway button. He's spamming that runaway button. Please, 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 please. This Pokemon is like level 80. I'm only level 35. Please, 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 please. Let me out, please. I gotta hope better hope you're faster, big, big dog. Holy. So you'll say it on the VOD, huh? Because I don't want to give you a clip like you're trying to do right now. What do you mean? As you'd imagine, Jack would only engage in the situation once he was a safe distance away and shielded by people around him. I literally have boxing gloves. I, I have boxing gloves. Let's go. I you're talking shot. Let's go. I literally have boxing right now. Again, throwing the glove is your violence, beta bitch. He said, I only do long range attacks. <laughs> He said, I'm not a, made of, a, a, a melee fighter. I, I do long range attacks only. <laughs> yeah. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, but you won't box, that's what I'm saying. This is the fucking McKinley. With each passing day, more and more people were turning against Jack, and that trend would only continue as his inner circle of friends were about to expose his darkest secrets. Uh -oh. On the 30th of March 2024, two former friends and a former employee of Jack collaborated on a video titled Jack Doherty Must Be Stopped, which was meant to highlight several concerning details about the kick streamer. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm Ricky, I'm Nick, and we actually met Jack Doherty back in 2017 right when we started popping off on youtube he started popping at the same time we became friends we actually filmed a decent amount of sorry he just looks so little like look how young he was and honestly in a crazy way he's like barely changed blood is not aging this is in 2017 <laughs> 
He's just taller now. Decent amount of videos together. And we actually ended up moving in together in a house with all of us back in 2021. This is Matthew JGL. He worked with Jack Doherty from 3 million subs all the way to 10 million subs. In the video, the trio alleged that Jake utilizes substances, surrounds himself with people who hate him, and places mm -hmm. profits over human connection. Jack's own brother says all the time that the only thing he thinks about is money and he says it literally to anybody new that comes into the house. He will make it known at some point. Everyone in the team would come to me on their own time and talk about how they hate it there. They hate working with Jack. They want to pick something else, but they have no other options. In addition to this, they would mention- All I care about is money and alcohol. I mean, there's a level of honesty to saying that so directly that is like, I guess, you can't say he didn't get warned, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's crazy to say. Do you know Jack was promoting OF content to his young audience, despite mm. him claiming otherwise? Huh. His primary main source of income is and how he gets people there is by making these hard to watch fake little skit videos for Instagram and TikTok. And if you're above the age of 10, you know that they're clearly fake. How many points does it take to explode the world's largest prime box? Majority of his audience is younger kids. Just take a look at this video. These are fans right. coming up to him out in public. He also has these girls in his videos that are all signed to his agency and he takes the majority of their income and pays them a small salary a small fraction of what they bring in and jack will say that these videos are geared towards older people to try and get older people with money to spend money on him and his girls what's even more good that's literally pimping that's literally just that's 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 a pimp you're a pimp you're like the the modern version of a pimp sure like that's just a pimp like that's all that is that's all that is like i, I i'm like do these girls not know that they're signing to a pimp? Is that what that, like, are we, are we not aware of what pimping is? You're taking a vast majority of the income. That's a pimp. That's crazy. And again, cabbage patch head ass boy pimping. Concerning were details about Jack's personal life, uh -huh. as his former friends claimed he used to shoplift when they lived together. And to start it off, this well, is something that rubbed all of us the wrong way when we all lived together, is we would go to the grocery store and Jack, would literally just shoplift. He would just open a box of food, eat it, and then leave the open empty box just on the shelf, on the counter for some worker to clean up. And we would- I'm gonna say something perhaps a bit controversial, but I want it to be clear that this is backed by um, facts and research. And by that, I mean my personal opinion and personal experiences and the personal experiences of others. I will say that realistically for a upper middle class a uh, white white person that that is not that crazy something about it i don't want to come off as being like i just know that i've been around people who shoplift and every single time it is somebody who has absolutely no business shoplifting maybe not white maybe just upper middle class younger people usually it's white girls i'm gonna be honest god damn do upper middle class white girls love to steal when the reality is they could just ask for their parents to buy it and they absolutely would he looks like somebody who would steal honestly but honestly, to me, what's crazy is opening a package of food and then just putting it back on the shelf. That's insane. Just steal the whole package. At that point, you're just being like disrespectful to the workers who have to clean it up. At least steal the package. <laughs> if you're going to do crimes and shoplift, can you at least have a little bit of integrity and not bother other people with it? My God. Sit down and try to have talks with him and be like, yo, just pay for it, bro. But whenever we talked to him, it couldn't get through to his head. He would just be like, whatever, bro. They also at the self-checkout terminal. He had like five things he was checking out. Well, it would be a whole full grocery cart and he would only scan one of the items out of the five and then he'd go to the next thing, one of them out of the five, the next thing, one of them out of the five and just full on scamming these companies. Even though they were criticizing Jack for his wild life. So he's just doing it for like the the the, the rush. This dude is a born criminal with a, the, the, a mask of a Cabbage Patch Kid. It's just literally just the rush of getting away with something for this person. Lifestyle and degenerate antics. His former friends still wanted to help and see him improve. To compare the two, but Jake Paul back in the day was going down a path that people could see from the outside could lead to a bad outcome. And even Jake Paul recently was on the podcast with George Janko. And he pretty much said the same thing that Ricky said about Jack Doherty, that Jack Doherty, he's going down 
this path, but Jack Doherty's mindset towards all of this, he hears it and he just hears it all as hate, not taking it as love that people want to help him. By the 10th of April 2024, yeah. Jack would upload a rather angry response to his former friends and right? deflect the criticism. I'm tired of hypocrites. Everyone that has ever come out. He's drunk. Am I crazy? 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 Am I insane? He's drunk. He's drunk right now. After me has done everything I've done because they're fake. And I cut him off months ago, and now they went to try and expose. Oh, he's 100% drunk. Going around drunk. and expose me because this I won't film man. videos with them. They're just fake. They're desperate for clout and they're jealous. In between all of his swearing, Jack accused his. Nah, he's 100% drunk. He's drunk. Clock that instantly just by the the body stance, the posture was giving drunk, but he's drunk. Imagine like responding to criticism like that. Piss drunk, you're responding to criticism that serious. Leaders of trying to be like him, but failing, and claimed he never did anything wrong. There's nothing to expose. Put a, <laughs> put a one in chat if you want to be like Jack Doherty. Put a two in chat if you'd rather be like most anyone else. He is slurring a little bit. It's just not too bad. The thing I do is already out there. I'm not a bad person. If I if I did anything wrong, I would be in trouble, but I'm not because. People like to twist shit, make it seem like what it's not because they just can't believe what I've accomplished and they just want to f say everything that's not true to cope with the fact that they're not at where I'm at. People try to do what you do and if they don't succeed, they, they just hate. The allegations made against Jack would only continue to increase as another one of his former associates named Norway would accuse him of housing a minor. Uh, Jack, what? I'm going to tell people she was 17, uh, Jack. The, the so Sophie girl. Oh, not Sophie, Sophia. Sophia's little sister was 17. That was at the house. And then, what? Uh, you said that they're never coming back to the house. Um, four days uh, later, Jack, uh, Ace invited uh, the 17 year old and uh, her friends over to the house. And um, I also had messages of uh, Sophie messaging me uh, Daddy, please uh, forgive me. Or Daddy, please come what? over or something. Uh, but I didn't want to come over because you were 17 year old. And, I, I'm, I'm, and Jack, I messaged you. I told you to kick them out. And then you didn't do about it because you were in Dubai. Um, but yeah. In his Twitter community, Jack would address the situation with a tweet that read, Can't believe Norway switched up on me that fast. I never even kicked him out. I genuinely cared about the kid and did everything for him and still would. Hope one day he realizes how good he had it and how he threw away his best friend for 15 seconds of fame. Did we address the 17 year old calling people daddy part of that? Or like, is that like not important enough to like address? Because I don't think that it did. That's kind of important to be. Underneath Drama Alert's coverage of the tweet, Jack would defend himself by stating, that minor he said I had out okay. my house was invited by him. And uh -huh. right when I found out, she got kicked out. TF do I get out of having minors at my house? I never invite girls to my house. I have a GF. Think what you want, but I have too much to lose to do stupid stuff like that. Norway wasn't the only one accusing Jack okay. of acting inappropriately with minors, as Neon also brought up similar allegations months prior. What? You're a joke. Let me tell you exactly what Jack does. I don't care. You want to say that? Now I'm going to violate you and expose your script. Here's what you do. I'm going to tell you exactly what you do. You get 17 year old girls the night before their birthday. You got you buy a ten thousand dollar yacht every time. You get them drunk and they sign a contract. Fifty percent of their life every single time. F you. Stranger still, the pattern of former what? friends and colleagues accusing Jack of being too close with minors extends all the way back to December 2023, when Natalie Reynolds made similar claims in a tweet that read, Oh, by the way, the grooming thing ain't a joke, lol. This girl was 17 and Jack waited months for her birthday to get her drunk and sign a contract on a yacht as well. Jail time. Jail. For life. Forever. Weird. Gross. Nasty and disgusting. If true, jail. Well as Jack Doherty has paid someone to take down and ban my Instagram account. Insecure narcissist is mad he can't make money off me anymore and I'm realizing the truth. Stick to grooming minors. While none of these allegations have been proven or disproven, it's clear that the people close to Jack Doherty are slowly turning against him and revealing who he truly is when the cameras aren't rolling. He which is crazy, right? Because like when somebody is that rich and that famous and provides that much of an opportunity to people, typically like if we can if we can be honest about human nature in these situations, when somebody offers you the amount of opportunity and money and information and all of those things, clout, that Jack Doherty provides, most people are not going to be willing to turn on you. You have a lot to lose to turn on somebody like that. And so like you have to understand like how unbearable this dude is to have everybody be like not nah, you you know like even privately because obviously he's unbearable publicly as well but like privately there's no doubt that he is a, a awful person to be around because like your 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 close friends the people you lend to your home are not gonna like 
turn on you like that unless like there is the the benefit to them is not worth having to be around you and allow you to do what you're doing that does speak volumes to me when the people that you considered your close friends that you let into your home right when they speak out on your behavior that is crazy even state farms his insurance company wants nothing to do with him according to a recent tmz article jack attempted to use his renter's insurance to cover his ongoing lawsuit what? however state farm claims has gone outside his coverage and is appealing to the judge to exclude them from the case from the look of things jack is rapidly running out of allies insurance and only fraud? time will tell how many he'll have left by the time the legal battles are over in his early days jack assumed harassing and taking advantage of people to promote his content was a good long-term strategy but sadly he couldn't have been more wrong the fake friends and bodyguards he used to hide behind are dropping like flies and no one in the community is willing to stand by him. Right now, Jack is at a crossroads in his career. Either he owns up to his mistakes and cleans up the gigantic mess he made, or he remains the way he is now and continues to blame everyone but himself. With that being said, at least he's not losing as many subscribers as his self-help YouTube guru who is currently facing one of the largest downfalls in YouTube history. That's a crazy way to go into your next video. However, uh, what I want to say is, uh, yes, he is. He has been at a crossroads where he could continue or he could like become a better person. He has chosen the route of crashing his McLaren out of absolute stupidity and having no concern for the people that he hurt or could have hurt about it. So he's made that choice. We'll see where it goes from here. We'll see where it goes from here. Here's some advice I would like to give to you as people, not Jack Doherty. I don't really give a about that dude he's the unredeemable individual at this point what i'd like to say to all of you is don't be an alcoholic don't get addicted to alcohol if you have a problem with alcohol or drugs please get help there are programs and systems in place to be able to help you if you cope with your life via alcohol and drugs and if you feel like you have to use alcohol and drugs to continue the way that you live please get help because um i will say that uh a just the statement uh, if it's true of like i only care about money and alcohol but also the fact that he's drunk in a lot of the clips in this video and a lot of the clips i've seen and just generally his lack of like being able to hear what people say to him this is a person who has a problem with something and um get help it's hard and it sucks but it's better than uh the the path that it leads you down you can use this as a great example for why you don't really want to go down that path. It's a great example of what happens when you take a path of like not assuming accountability over your life and letting something else rule it. In his case, it's some adrenaline junkie, alcohol, uh, uh, you know, clout and attention thing. I don't know what that is. Keep people around you who will tell you the truth and be willing to listen to them, even if it pisses you off. That's my that's my like personal sort of advice to not Jack Doherty. That dude sucks. <laughs> that's all I got. Bye.